what's up guys they changed it on us again so yes i feel inclined i feel it's only responsible that i make uh yet a third and final video on this because there's no way that they're, they're going to change this again but the value of 1.42 or 1.43 to get your mouse uh vertical and horizontal sensitivity uh one to one or 100 percent to 100 percent is has now changed okay they wanted to make it more intuitive. I'll talk about that later. Uh, so let's just get right into to the settings here. You click on the settings uh, cog, click on settings itself, and click the second tab under control. And under vertical sensitivity multiplier, you'll see it now says 0 0.70. Well, uh, just to explain what's going on and what this is about, it's about the mouse movement. Uh, this game, when you move it side to side, is proper. It's right. It's 100%. Uh, it's just 100%. Now, when you move it up and down vertical, it's 70% of your side to side movement. So they're not equal. Your up and down movement it, uh, takes it takes more to go from the top and bottom of the screen here uh, on your mouse pad than it does to go the same distance side to side right now at 70%. And so to fix that, to make it a one-to-one -one ratio and to make this 100% up and down to 100% side to side or to make up and down and side to side, horizontal and vertical equal, you change this value to 1.00. You can use a slider, which is kind of a pain to, to do sometimes, it just chops around. Another way you can change any value in any setting in PUBG is just to highlight it, left click and hold, just like you're copying and pasting, and type, literally type the number in. And the number is 1.00, okay? So you do that, you click apply, and you click close, and you're good to go. Now, what they did here is they essentially just uh, took their previous change which it was 1.00 was the 70% wrong value, and you had to change it to 1.42 uh, to make it 100% to 100% or 1 to 1. They went ahead and changed that uh, to 0 0.70, and 1.00 1, 1 is the correct value to avoid confusion. It was a smart move. They did it while it remained on test. This is still not live yet. This, is still, this setting is still not in the live server. Now, if you did do it or have done it like my first video, which was the change in the input.ini, uh, where you actually uh, copy and pasted that stuff in your input.ini file, that is fine. That still works just fine. And you can keep that that way and not change these values at all and you're good to go your mouse is still one-to-one -one. it's 100 percent, and that's actually the way i'm keeping it but uh if you want to uh, just change it in game and have it changed in game only just go ahead and go in that uh folder delete that ini that input that ini file and then change the 0 0.70 to 1.00 uh, click apply and click close on that and, and you're good now uh, might as well show the uh, UI because I'm replacing that in entire video the UI here this is on test they have not pushed this live um, they said they pushed the changes live uh, I can't I haven't verified that yet but the I know the, the UI live right now is still not this new one so whatever but uh, look I'm just going to show you basically this box here. I mean, this is the main thing in this new UI uh, besides that, that setting. Okay, let's start uh, from bottom up. Your perspective. It now has this. It looks prettier. It's, it's more intuitive. And it shows you third-party perspective and first-party perspective. And whichever one you select uh, is going to stay now. So if you select first-party perspective your groups with you or you're even solo you click start you play a game and you come back out it's still going to be on first party perspective this saves now these all save now okay uh now your team it just looks prettier same exact uh function 
uh, when you have, you know, uh, it's got solo duo squads and one man squads because I'm only one person in here. So the final thing is they added in map selection. This is huge, 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 huge. You know, people have been screaming for this for a long time. So you have Erangel, you have Miramar, and then Savage, which is coming soon, as it says here, which will be uh, out, I would speculate, in the next month to two months at the very most. So we, we could probably safely say summer of 2018 uh, for the Savage map. But basically, this just works the way you would think. Uh, you have a little checkbox in the top right and, based on what you select. So if you want to just have one map uh, in, in your rotation that it only plays that map, you want the checkbox in only that map. So if you just want to play this map, and that's the only map that you or you and your buddies want to play, then you just keep the checkbox there and uncheck Miramar. And you just play into your heart's content. If you want to continue to have it uh, the way it's been uh, the, the entire time and have it randomly pick a map out of what you have selected well you select you know the maps and it will randomly select from uh, map one map two here uh, and then in the future map three so there it is guys that's uh, the fix that is the updated fix and I do not anticipate the change once again they changed it uh, to where the default value, let's go ahead and go back in there. The uh, default value is under control, under vertical sensitivity multiplier, and it's 0 0.70, which makes sense because it's that the whole thing is your vertical sensitivity is 70%. So, a default value of 0 0.70 more accur accurately represents that. And it's more intuitive to someone to come in and say, okay, I want it to be, I heard about this 100% thing. Let's move this to 100%. So, let's move this up to 100, right? Or 1.00. And there you go. So, it just makes more sense than 1.42, some arbitrary number, right? Uh, from what I've been told, this is good for all aspect ratios and resolutions. It makes no difference. If this helps you out in any ways, uh, way rather, uh, please uh, subscribe. If it did not help you, and I do apologize for having to make mul multiple videos for the same topic, uh, then uh, it didn't earn your subscription, but I appreciate you watching anyways. And again, have a great day, guys. Take care.